Hi, first have a look down in the description on that link. There is a link of my second channel. On that channel I usually do electronic stuff and projects. Today I want to discuss uh, one problem which I have with uh, next project which I am going to make. And that's that I don't have enough space for power supply. Whole project is going to be in small space. And for example, transformers like, like this are quite small, but for my project are still big. So I need to find another solution how to make a power supply. And good idea is to find some product, some existing product and have a look inside that product how it was done. And I have I have this uh, PL sensor which has uh, this transformer-less power supply uh, done and it's working. So here I drawn the schematic diagram of this transformer-less power supply and uh, it's interesting how it was done. I'm going to quickly uh, show what parts are there. So mind voltage goes through this fuse. Then there is this 150 ohm resistor. Uh, here is the 390 nanofarad capacitor which actually does the voltage drop because uh, the capacitor in uh, AC circuit is, uh, acts as a resistor. So then it, uh, the voltage goes into the bridge rectifier which does the rectification. Here is only filtering part. Uh, here is 470 microfarad capacitor and 100 nano uh, capacitor. Here is uh, Zener diode which uh, makes 24 volt volts uh, uh, stabilized on this this part. An interesting to me to see how actually was done at the uh, the supplying uh, voltage for this uh, electronics part here is that they actually used uh, a regulator 5 volt uh, regulator which um, uh, reduced the voltage to 5 volts Nothing too much difficult here. Uh, I also, I am going to need in my project a relay. So it is very good that this product has also the relay part. And we can have a look how it was done. They uh, lead the 24 volt plus 24 volts directly to the relay, which is good idea because uh, the relay has some resistivity and uh, it can be less dangerous when you touch, for example, accidentally this part, but you have to make sure never touch uh, all, anywhere in the in this circuit because you have live part, live uh, voltage everywhere. So you can basically kill yourself accidentally by touching anything here. So you have to keep in mind that uh, everything is live here. So uh, another uh, nice uh, thing which I found in this circuit was that here we see the contacts of the relay and they are protected by this capacitor and this resistor which probably this circuit probably only 
saves the contacts. Uh, it's important to say that this uh, transformerless power supply is able to supply only limited current and it's also a dangerous power supply. You can use it only in such a products where you have some shielding or something that I better explain here. You have separated, galvanically separated uh, these two windings. Here is nothing separated and everything is live. Face is everywhere here. So you have to keep in mind that this in your circuit can be dangerous. Uh, also, why I was very surprised in this uh, circuit when I found that when I measured current here, I cut this <coughs> trace and I put there a ampermeter and I found that whole circuit drives current only 18 milliamps. Even very interesting fact was that when I found that uh, this zener diode, I don't know if it's exactly 24 volt or this circuit is uh, bad or something, but I found that here is uh, 25 volts and this capacitor is rated to max 25 volts. So I don't know if, it's, it, if it was done purposely, but um, I believe that this capacitor can fail due to this uh, design flow here. Sure, if I would do something like this, I would put here a uh, high voltage capacitor than 25 volts. Also, another interesting fact in this circuit was when I saw this current, I was interested how much current can actually draw, draw this uh, relay and uh, I found that this relay which is rated for for uh, 24 volts uh, this electronics doesn't make good zero voltage here and uh, the relay basically gets only I think it was 19 volts the current was only uh, 16 milliampers so uh, this power supply supplies very low current and my circuit also is going to use something like this and uh, I have to keep in mind that uh, I don't have to make uh, the circuit which would uh, drive uh, more than 18, 18 milliampers uh, from this power supply. Also when you find some circuit in the internet you not always have perfect circuits which are suitable for your project. So I think in that uh, when, uh, in order to make good project is maybe better to find existing product which is similar and find how it was done professionally. So that's all. Please have a look down in the description uh, on my link of my second channel. I do really cool projects. Thanks for watching.